what's up everybody? My name is Carlos Racinos. Uh, you probably see me in Gio's vlogs. You probably see me in quite a few things. If they're OGs, they've seen Carlos. You've seen me, yeah. If you're OGs, you're OGs. But um, I'm going to talk about something that I've been, been waiting for almost four years now. Four years of my life. Since I've met Gio, which is a pretty long, pretty long time ago, right? He's coming out. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. <laughs> Jacob's like, <laughs> sorry, Jacob. sorry, dudes. I'm not. Um, that would have been quite the thumbnail. That would have been quite a thumbnail. That would have been such a clickbait. But um, I am letting you guys know that I'm going through a procedure called uh, maxillofacial surgery. Maxillofacial surgery is where they literally break your jaw, which is like really painful. In better words, cue the music, Kanye West through the wire. I'm literally going to be going through what Kanye West went through when they break your jaw, the bottom part and the top jaw, and they're going to wire your mouth shut, basically. It's, it's a process. What? You're getting liposuction. <laughs> I'm not getting liposuction. People, people say liposuction. People say I'm getting suction. No, it's not that. Uh, it's literally, literally, they're gonna break my bone, my bottom uh, bone, and they're gonna cut like probably like I want to say like a good a good chunk of it, and they're gonna put some titanium plate in there, and they're gonna uh, realign my jaw because I do have the tendency to get locked jaw, and I do have problems with my jaw, and like it likes to click, it likes to like, likes to pop out a lot, and. Um, it's kind of a painful process to deal with every time you're like eating and all that but um yeah it's something like that so the recovery time is like roughly almost two months and uh and it still continues on throughout the whole year because like the two month period is like i guess where they get take out the wires and i can actually start eating soft foods and um i'll do a weigh-in so that way you can see how much i weigh right now at the period of time of this video recording and then we'll record it throughout the period you of time. You want to weigh yourself right now? We'll, we will weigh myself, but we have to cut, it cut, have a cut there. But with that being said, though, I want to talk to 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 the people out there. You know, with people that are like you know dealing with like self confidence issue. I'm one of the people that would deal with something like that. And most of my pictures, if you'd like to like scroll through my Instagram, you don't really see me uh, show my pearly whites. I always do the Asian smile, the you know kind of thing. I never really like to show my smile due to my braces or do do something like that i never really was big on smiling but um hopefully this time time around I actually can smile more and actually show my pearly whites that's something i really like to show off and, like with the whole surgery now that's gonna happen um now i won't have to deal with that issue of like hey i'm self-confidence like self self-conscious sorry self-conscious about my my smile or my you know and thing and uh yeah so um with that being said this year there's no more looking back. I'm not going to look back through the past and say, hey, well, that, no, no longer that. I'm going to look forward to what I have ahead because I have such a bright future ahead. Like, that's like something that I want to plan out for 2019 is to get into better shape, is to do more things that I, you know, get me out of my comfort zone. And with this surgery, I feel like it's going to help me to get out of that comfort zone. And you could ask Gio, you could ask anybody. I've been pretty, like, pretty busy with my work. I'm pretty much a workaholic, like, a lot, right? But, yeah. So, basically, so, yeah, I don't know, if you, we're going to see, I'm going to show you in an angle. If you can see, my nose is kind of effed up, and you can see my jaw kind of sticks out a little bit, or you, better yet, I can do that. Ah. So, that's all going to be gone, and I'll show you a before and then an after. Gio will, 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 well, once you get the surgery, obviously, and all that stuff. Gio will come through, hopefully. Hopefully, he'll, <laughs> hopefully he'll come through and visit me. But, um, you'll see the before, the middle, and the after. This is just, uh... Okay. Just get on it. All right. It's the little battery says. So this will be my weight after I eat all this food. Oh shit. 160. Oh wait. Oh, I wanna weigh myself too. <laughs> Shake of DLing. Nothing's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob's in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, so, you're like a you're roughly like around 160. So I'm 160. Reason being. <laughs> The reason being is I ate a lot of food over the weekend and I said, hey, I'm going to get fat because the doctor did say she wanted to get me really fat. We just, we just had all you can eat sushi. And we, and we just had all we could eat sushi. So give me give me a couple of minutes and I'll <laughs> poop it out. But um, with that being said, though, you guys will be able to see exactly my transformation in a way, being that I'm going to lose all that weight because I will not be able to eat like solid foods. So it's all going to be liquid. Which is going to be a pain in the ass, to be realistically. And you can hear the toilet flush, because she could just... I lost a lot of weight when I got my tonsil taken out, and I was just drinking liquid foods, too. Yeah, so... And that recovery process, only like, well, it's only like two weeks. So well, yours is like two uh, months. Yeah, two months, though. But, yeah. But. So, 
You need to see me? I'm gonna be more skinnier than I am right now. What is going on, guys? Welcome to the video. This first clip right here, I am slowing down a little bit. The footage just gonna give me some time to introduce introduce the video, guys. But anyways, I did not introduce the video. So welcome to the video, guys. As you guys saw right now, I let my friend Carlos do his little talk that he wanted to do on my channel. Uh, if you guys saw my last video, I cut the cut, I cut the talk off, and I wanted to put it in front of this video because the vid last video is gonna be too long. But anyways, guys, welcome to the leg day commentary. And anyways, today was squat session. Now. This squat session was for my first leg day, being on Monday, but the rest of the video, all the accessories, all that stuff, is a recording from my second leg day on Thursday. The reason I, I have the res uh, two different recordings from different days is because on my Thursday leg day, it was supposed to be a 4x12 on squat, but last time I did this type of video where I just recorded my workout, it was also a 4x12, and on Monday, I had to do a 4x4, so I decided to just record Monday squats, just so it could be a little bit different, you know, variety in there, because I didn't want to do the same commentary over the the same squat session we did last time, but anyways, guys, yeah, like I said, this is, was a 4x4 from Monday, 4x4 at 315, um, and now, before the first clip, you guys saw me do, like, I think it was like a single at like 345 350 uh, 345 i think I, I really don't remember but it was somewhere around there um and then just four by four at 315 um it was actually supposed to be a four by four at 310 but i was feeling like really really good and i was like you know what 310 315 is like five pounds away bro i'm gonna try 315 for four for four sets of four um it's actually kind of a pr for me i have never done this so it was really cool to like be able to do this so that made me really really happy um but other than that, the squat session was overall just pretty good, fantastic, felt pretty good. Um, I was looking right here over my sets, everything looks pretty good. The depth, the depth I'm, I'm getting is pretty, pretty happy with that. Um, just one thing here and there, it's just like, just a couple things here and there. That looks like it looks like I can like better up my posture. Um, try to keep my chin lower, you know, try to keep my spine more neutral. Sometimes kind of have like a little tendency to keep my head up. So yeah. But going on with the second movement, um, pretty much our leg days are always the same. Um, so yeah, this is the this is the second leg day. This is the the Thursday. This is pretty much all the accessories. As you guys can see, I'm pretty much wearing the same shorts, just a different t-shirt, different socks. But I pretty much keep my knee sleeves on during the whole workout, just because why not? I just feel like, and also like it's just, I get I, I get lazy to freaking take them off. And uh, like, there's multiple reasons. Now, a couple reasons is that also my legs are warm when I take the knee sleeves off. My knees get cold because of the sweat, all that stuff. And with that being said, the sweat. Like, if I take my knee sleeves off, where am I going to put them? I don't want to put them in my, in my gym bag because it's going to stink on my bag. I don't want to be carrying them around and all that stuff because they're wet. They're, I, like, I sweat a lot, so they're usually wet. And I'd rather just freaking have them on me and just take them off at home and dry them wherever I do. Um, but anyways, as you guys saw, the second movement was lunges, walking lunges, three sets of ten, ten on each leg. Now, the third movement right here we do is pretty much the hip adductors. Um, the inner adductor one, um, especially this is mainly, I do this mainly just because I really want to get like strong adductors. Because just to help me out with my sumo deadlift, especially because sumo deadlift is a lot of like um, inner adductors like just like dominant. So it's just really help it's been helping me out a lot also this is a pretty much this is also i also do this on my pool days when i go deadlift like right before i deadlift actually as a warm-up to warm up my adductors stretch out everything pretty good down there my stretch on my groin it just feels overall really really good to do it and yeah but we also do it as an actual movement to get stronger on so we can get strong adductors so they can help us out on our deadlift the fourth movement we are doing here we're doing a seated leg curl for hamstrings right here i actually used to do the leg like the um lane the one that you like lay down in i'm pretty sure you guys know what i'm talking about most gyms have it where you, it's the leg curl but you lay down uh we started doing the seated one just because it feels really really good um if you guys never tried the seated one if you guys have a seated one at the gym i highly recommend it three sets of ten on this one as well and right here following up the next movement i believe this is the fifth movement um single leg extensions right here and i always do this like pretty much single leg extensions on the right of me there's actually the regular leg extension machines but i started realizing that isolating the quads each one was just better off for me because i do feel like in a way one of them was a little bit bigger than the other one which we kind of already do isolate them a little bit with lunges but just this way just feels like i isolate, isolate it like a lot better than than the lunges do now the sixth movement right here 
we do the little donkey calf raises i think now there's multiple different like calf movements you can do different multiple like types of like machines but i really like this one specifically at my gym so yeah um three sets at 12 on this one i'm since the footage is a little bit speed up um i do kind of try to pause a little bit at the top for about like a second or two and at the same thing at the bottom i try to pause for like a second or two and then go back up now the next movement the seventh movement i believe now this is more of an option movement i just kind of throw this in my leg day just because like why not we i started i actually just started doing this last week i started doing a back extension just three sets of like 10 to 12 um mainly i do this just so i check it um trying to get like a stronger lower back you know just trying to like loosen up everything back there because just doing that like my previous history of having like low back problems i just realized that, like trying to have a strong low back is pretty beneficial to me and also i feel like just comfortable doing this on my squat days or not just on my squat days but like overall my leg days just because like i don't know i just feel like it works well i just feel like it, it feels good after the squat after the leg day even when, when i go like down to like pick up the weight everything it just feels it just feels like everything's getting loosened up back there and i'm getting my lower back is overall getting stronger and being protected so with that being said guys that was the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until next time, it's been Gio, and I'm out. Peace. I just want to spread love. They want me to bleed slow. I just want to keep the peace and help people. Give some of this money that I'm making to the people. So if you hating on me, goddamn, you evil. And just don't understand, because I'm flyer than Knievel. Been through a lot of shit, but I keep it on the deep low. Never busting in them streets, but I keep it G, though. I